And Apple is a better business. Our railroad is a very good business. It's not remotely as good as Apple's business. This is Warren Buffett, unarguably the greatest investor of our era, talking about why he loves having this huge amount of shares in Apple at the 2023 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting. Fast forward to 2024 and Berkshire Hathaway has sold over 100 million Apple shares. Now I know what you're thinking, it's just to pay off taxes. Well, that's what a lot of people are speculating, but let me tell you, the story is much deeper and way more interesting than that. In this video, I'm gonna break down the real reasons behind this massive sale. Trust me, it's way more than just about federal taxes. What's even more intriguing is the buzz about Berkshire Hathaway potentially having its eyes on a new hidden gem, a mystery stock that's got Buffett really excited. There's talk that the massive funds from the Apple sale might be moving straight into this new opportunity. Imagine the potential here. So stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna reveal what this mystery stock might be and why it's caught Buffett's attention. You won't wanna miss this. Before we dive in, I have a small favor to ask. If you enjoy our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon. All right, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. At the 2024 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting, Warren Buffett put forward his stance on the company selling over 100 million Apple shares in a lengthy response. Now, the response given by Warren Buffett is quite interesting and is worth discussing, so let's break it down. One, AAPL will be Berkshire Hathaway's largest holding. I would say that at the end of the year, I would think it extremely likely that, that, uh, that uh, Apple is the largest common stock holding we have now. Despite selling 115 million Apple shares worth a whopping $20 billion, he still expects Apple to remain their largest common stock holding by the end of the year. Now, you might be wondering why Berkshire would sell such a huge chunk of Apple shares if it's still going to be their largest holding. The answer lies in Berkshire's strategic approach to portfolio management. Even after selling those shares, the sheer value of their remaining Apple stock is so significant that it will still dominate their portfolio. Buffett's confidence in Apple underscores his belief in the company's long-term potential. Apple has been a powerhouse, consistently delivering strong performance and innovation. By trimming its position, Berkshire Hathaway is likely freeing up capital to seize new opportunities without losing faith in Apple's continued success. Two, Warren Buffett looks at stocks as businesses. One interesting thing is that uh, Charlie and I uh, looks at common stocks or marketable equities or the things that people love to look at as being uh, businesses. This might sound straightforward, but it's a game-changing mindset that every investor should adopt. Let's break it down. When Buffett and his longtime partner Charlie Munger look at stocks, they see them not just as ticker symbols or lines on a graph, but as actual businesses. This approach shifts the focus from the stock market's day-to-day -day fluctuations to the underlying value of the companies themselves. Buffett's strategy is all about evaluating the intrinsic value of these businesses. He digs into their financial health, their growth potential, and their competitive advantages. By doing this, he determines whether the business is undervalued or overvalued in the stock market. If it's undervalued, it's a good buying opportunity. If it's overvalued, it might be time to sell. Three, Warren Buffett is building cash in current market conditions. We will have Apple as our largest investment, uh, but I don't mind at all under current conditions building uh, the uh, cash position, I think. Right now, the stock market as a whole seems quite expensive. Many stocks are trading at high valuations, which means they're priced higher than their intrinsic value. When stocks are this pricey, finding good deals becomes challenging. This is where Buffett's wisdom shines through. Warren Buffett is known for being a patient and strategic investor. He doesn't just jump into the market for the sake of being active. Instead, he waits for the right opportunities to come along. By building up a cash reserve, he's preparing to pounce when those opportunities arise. This strategy is particularly smart in overvalued markets. 
By trimming some positions now, Buffett can take advantage of the high prices. It's like selling your house when the real estate market is booming. You get top dollar for your property, and then you have cash on hand to buy again when prices are more reasonable. Holding cash also gives Buffett flexibility. When the market eventually corrects and prices drop, he'll be ready to buy quality stocks at a discount. This approach allows him to maximize returns while minimizing risk. It's a classic example of his famous saying, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So, you see, this move by Warren Buffett to sell Apple shares is much more than paying off taxes. 4. Berkshire Hathaway doesn't mind paying taxes, and now is the best time. We don't mind paying taxes at Berkshire, and we are paying a 21% federal rate on the gains we're taking in, in uh, Apple. And, uh, that rate was 35% not that long ago, and it's been 52% in the, in the past uh, when I've been operating. And uh, it, uh, the government owns, the federal government owns a part of the earnings of the business we make. They don't own the assets, but they own a percentage of the earnings. And, uh, uh, they can change that percentage. And Warren Buffett mentioned that Berkshire is paying a 21% tax rate on the gains from their Apple stock sales. Now, you might think, who likes paying taxes? But Buffett has a strategic perspective here. First off, let's put that 21% rate into context. Not that long ago, the tax rate on such gains was 35%, and historically it has been as high as 52%. Yes, you heard that right, 52%. Buffett has seen those high rates during his investment career, so the current 21% rate actually looks pretty favorable. Warren Buffett also highlighted a critical point, the government can change tax rates at any time. Given the massive government spending and the considerable deficits, it wouldn't be surprising to see tax rates increase in the near future. When the government spends more than it earns, it eventually needs to find ways to balance the books, and that often means higher taxes. So, what does this mean for Berkshire Hathaway? By selling some of their Apple shares now, they're locking in gains at the current lower tax rate. If the tax rate were to increase in the future, this move could save Berkshire and ultimately its shareholders a significant amount of money. Imagine if the capital gains tax were to jump back to 50%. The decision to sell now at a 21% rate would look like a stroke of genius. Warren Buffett isn't necessarily saying that the potential for higher taxes is the primary reason for selling Apple shares. However, he's acknowledging that selling at a lower tax rate could be a smart move if rates do increase. It's a bit like hedging your bets, taking advantage of favorable conditions now while anticipating that they might not last. So what's the big mystery stock that Berkshire Hathaway has been quietly buying? The speculation ended when Berkshire disclosed its massive holdings in a company not previously seen in its filings, Chubb Limited. Chubb is a Zurich-based insurance company that's been around for quite a while. Back in January 2016, Ace Limited acquired Chubb for a whopping $29.5 billion, merging the two into what is now the largest publicly traded property and casualty insurance company in the world. Here's where it gets really interesting. In a recent regulatory filing detailing Berkshire's first quarter investments, it was revealed that they've purchased a significant stake in Chubb, 25.9 million shares worth about $6.72 billion. This makes Chubb Berkshire's ninth largest holding as of Q1 2024. Now, why is this a big deal? First off, let's consider the context. Warren Buffett has been quite vocal about the lack of attractive investment opportunities in the current market. So when he decides to make a big move like this, it's definitely worth paying attention to. Selling a large chunk of Apple shares and then directly putting a substantial amount of that capital into Chubb indicates that Buffett sees something valuable in this company. By investing heavily in Chubb, Warren Buffett is betting on the long-term stability and growth potential of the insurance industry, which has always been a significant part of Berkshire's portfolio. 
This move also aligns with Buffett's investment philosophy of buying into businesses with strong fundamentals and long-term prospects. Despite the high valuations in the current market, Chubb represents a solid opportunity with its extensive reach and established reputation. Now, while Warren Buffett is shuffling Berkshire's portfolio amid economic uncertainty, China is taking over the world market. Watch our next video on how China is destroying America with valuable insights from Patrick Bet David. Before moving to our next video, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment to get the conversation going. I will be back with another insightful video soon.